Hi guys, in this video we will create this text slider. As you can see, you have to grab it and slide it over, it slides to the next one, next and next and so on. It also works on mobile device, you can swipe it and it does the same thing. We will be using hammer JS for the touch events. Before we begin the coding path, I have some images in the assets folder that I have downloaded from the website Unsplash. So let's begin with the main style.scss file. So the basic style, universal selector, box size, importer box. And inside body, we'll remove the margin and padding. And width will be 100 VW, height 100 VH. And that's all for the style.scss. Now let's generate the component. ng gc text slider. I'm also passing the standalone option so that it generates as a standalone component. And we can avoid the module part. Okay, so the HTML is going to be simple. We have a div with class slider container. Inside that, another div with the class slider item. And a ng4 loop. We also need the index. Let i equal to index. And then the image tag with the class slider image. Now let's declare the variable images. It will be an input property so that we'll be passing the images to this component. Now let's create an interface for the image slides. Export interface slide with the properties image source and it will be string and image alt of type string. Now we can change the type here. Now we can bind the source and alt text. Let's bind the source image dot image source alt image dot image alt. Let's add the selector in the app component HTML. We'll add a wrapper div for the selector div.container. Inside that we'll add the selector. Let's just copy the class name. And we can add it inside a imports array in app module.ts. We are adding in the imports array because it's a standalone component. Now we need images for this component, so let's create a variable images equals to array of check. So here we created image source and image all, so image source and image all. Source will be asset slash image one. So for the image alt, you can give some relevant text here in case if the image is not rendered for some reason. Now I'm gonna give it as image one. Now let's duplicate this nine more times. And then change the image source and alt.
Now we can pass this to the slider component. Let's save it and see it in the browser. Let's do the ng serve. So we have the image here rendering. Now we need to style it. So first we'll begin with slider container. Position relative width 75%, height 100%. So the width we given 75%. I'll explain that in a minute. Margin will be O2. Next is slider item. For slider item position will be absolute. Set index 0, left 0, top 0, width 100% and height 100%. Transition, set index to 50 millisecond. The next will be the image, slider image. So the position will be relative left to zero, top zero with 100%, height 100%, same as above. Let's give it box shadow. Let's move the image to the center. For that, in app component.scss, we'll target the host and then display flex, align item center, justify content center. Width 100 viewport width, height 100 eh, and for the container, the width will be 600 px and the height will be 300 px. Now let's continue the edge slider component CSS file. So transition 500 millisecond cubic visual. Transform scale will be zero. The opacity will be zero. Order radius in px. Now these are the default values and we'll be animating this uh, transform scale, opacity and also the z-index here. In the beginning we saw our slider has a selected image that is currently visible and a previous image and next image. The rest of the images are hidden. So we need the classes selected. Previous, I'm just going to shorten it as pre next to hold the next image. Hide left, we'll be using this to hide images. The left, hide right. Selected item. We'll have a z-index of 2. Previous and next we'll have z-index 1. And for the height left and height right, it will be z-index 0 by default, which we already given here. And inside selector, the slider image will have an opacity of 1. Remember, we have given here default as uh, 0. And transform 
translate text zero percent scale one and cursor grab previous image will have an opacity of zero point eight transform translate text minus twenty five percent scale zero point eight The minus 25% will move it left 25% and scale will be 80%. Similar logic for the next image. Opacity 0.8. Transform translate text 25%. Scale will be 0.8. The twenty five percent will push it to the right. For the height left image, we'll give transform translate text minus fifty percent, scale will be zero. This will give a nice smooth moving animation before it gets hidden. Same for the height right as well. Transform translate text. Let's save it. Now we need to add these classes to the image based on condition. And we can make use of ng class for that. And here we'll be making use of this index. Let's declare a variable selected index value will be 0 by default okay, so here if i equal to selected index then it will be the class selected and if i equals to selected index minus 1 that means previous so the class will be wave and if i equals to select an index plus one then it will be next and if i less than select an index minus one then we'll give the hide left class If I greater than selector index plus one, then hide right plus. Simple as that. Okay, this is how it looks right now. Let me add a background in app component.css background image linear gradient I mean you can give whatever color you want now let's save this and see how it looks okay okay so for the swipe events we will use hammer.js because in most cases it works pretty well when you have both a mouse and a touch display and it's less code. So let's install hammer.js and pmi hammer.js We need to install the type definition for hammer.js and pmi dash dash save error at the rate type slash hammerjs okay once we install this now we need to import hammer module in app module imports array or so hammer module and it is from platform browser
and also in main.ts we need to import hammer.js so that it will be available globally okay so now we can use the pan right and pan left so pan right equals show previous and we'll also pass the index pan right equals show next show previous I have type number if this dot selected index greater than 0 then we will give the selected index equals to I minus 1 and for the show next if this dot selected index less than images dot length minus 1 this dot select index equal to i plus 1 so basically if selected index greater than 0 then we have images at the left side so we can show it and if selected index less than length images dot length minus 1 then we can show the next images okay so it's working we are able to swipe right and swipe left also works fine let's verify the mobile view and for the mobile view also swipe left and right is working fine but the image height doesn't look good let's correct it so we'll target the slider container at the red media max width 480px slider container and the height will be 75% for the smaller screen the height will be 75% okay, now it looks much better We have a working slider now, hope you guys liked it.